I speak loudly into channel one, I'll get this HDMI input. If I switch over to this one, I'll get this HDMI input, back to this one, and back to this one again, switching automatically without us having to do anything. This is a quick intro on how to use the ATEM switch utility. If you run it with um, the first parameter as the IP address of your ATEM switcher, then it will return back a list of your inputs. So in this case, we're connected to an ATEM Mini Extreme ISO with eight inputs. Uh, it tells you preview program, and also tells you the audio inputs as well. And you can see this matches our audio deck and our switcher deck. If you run it with the monitor command, so that is ATEM Studio Monitor Switcher Monitor and then the IP address, you'll get a live feed of all the input levels. So you can see it reacting to my voice and the levels matching the ATEM software over here on the right. But what we're here for is automatically switching our ATEM switcher. So we've got one camera here, second camera here, and the third HDMI input. We've got some Rode Wireless Pros. So the first one is split, so left and right channels are separate. So it's these two devices. So they will control our cameras one and two. And we've got a another Rode Wireless that's going to be our third one, and that's going to trigger our third HDMI input. So what we do is we need to tell the software which inputs to map to which outputs. So based on our data from here, we can see that each audio input has an input ID and a source ID. So normally each input only has one source audio input, but if, like me, you're splitting one of the inputs into left and right channels, then you'll get the same input ID, but with a different source ID attached to it. So we can see that we've got two mono channels here, and one stereo channel on our mic two input. So this is our mic one input, and this is our mic two input. So note down the numbers here. Note down the numbers for your switcher inputs. And we build a command line, which looks like this. So we've got an auto switch, we've given it an IP address, and we're now saying we're gonna map this audio pair. So this is our split mic one channel, and we're gonna get the left channel firing HDMI input one, the right channel HDMI input two, and then this is our mic two input, and that's gonna trigger our HDMI input three. So if we run this, what the system does is it analyzes on an interval, which is the most or the loudest signal, uh, and it fills these boxes up. So that if you had a temporary signal, which was louder, then it waits for all of this box to change before it does a transition. So if I speak into microphone number two, if I speak into microphone number two, then channel two is gonna be the main one. If I go back to channel one, channel one's now active. So we can see that in effect. here. So if I speak loudly into channel one, I'll get this HDMI input. If I switch over to this one, I'll get this HDMI input, back to this one, and back to this one again, switching automatically without us having to do anything. And of course, I can talk into my other one and get the game input. So there's no limit to how many inputs and outputs you can reconfigure. 
uh, it'll just automatically switch to whatever you set it to.